In this video, I'm going to be unboxing the Builder Premium Large. It comes in two boxes like this, and we're going to be showing you exactly what you get um, if you order one. And we'll be making lots of content on this soon, so um, keep your eye out for that. If you want to come and see it, it will be in our showroom temporarily. Um, so we'll be happy to show you all the features. And uh, yeah, so let's, uh, let's get it unboxed. So you'll need a crosshead screwdriver to undo the screws that just sort of hold the uh, box together. It's quite well packaged, um, but this might take a little while, so you might want to hand speed things up. Right, and you probably want two people to lift the machine out of the box and then place it on a nice uh, flat surface. So you've got your instruction manual for unpackaging that comes uh, on top of the printer. It just tells you all the parts that you need to remove before printing, and we'll show you that in a minute. And then a quick start guide as well. Um, there is a more extensive uh, user manual which you can find online, as, um, and that runs through all the setup details. So inside the second box that you receive with your Builder Premium Large, you'll get two spools of filament. They'll both be PLA. Um, Ours were red and blue. Uh, we can't promise they'll be the exact same as that, but yeah, they'll, they'll get you up and printing. And you get a, a small paint roller and tray, um, and this is just to apply the glue that you're provided with to the build plate. And you also get um, the power adapters, and there are actually two of these. And you need one for the printer itself, and the second one powers the bed. Um, so you make sure that you plug both in. Uh, you'll probably get the European um, power plugs uh, with it, but you'll also receive uh, the UK ones, and they'll be packaged separately. So there's the glass plate. And now if we look inside this bag, there are quite a few other bits. So these are the UK plugs. And you can see that the type of uh, lead that they are. And then this is a filament guide. And a small um, Wi-Fi USB adapter. And you've got two spool holders. and some steel wire, and this is uh, provided to help you clean the nozzle if you need to. And there are two spare um, filament guides, and an Allen key, and there are two uh, spare Teflon um, tubes as well, and then these tools for assembling the printer. There are also two pressure plugs, which look like this, and these are provided um, in case you get any blockages. And then there's a spare nozzle there as well. Uh, you also get some glue, which Builder provide um, to apply to the, uh, the build plate. And the next thing you'll need to do before you um, start setting up for a print um, is to remove the rest of the packaging from inside the printer. And uh, there's some red cable ties um, you need to be careful when you remove these just to make sure you don't clip any of the electrical wires. So just take your time with these and remove them. And then this should free up the yellow plastic um, protectors. This one you'll need to use uh, one of the tools uh, that I mentioned earlier just to unscrew uh, the bolt that holds it in place. And once it's unscrewed uh, you can literally just um, unclip it and remove it. The second part you'll need to remove is the other yellow bit and there's a cable tie in front and then if you just twist it and, um, and take it out that, that should remove quite easily. 
One other um, thing that you need to make sure you do before you start printing is to tighten up the axis, uh, the Y axis in particular, and the, the, um, the pulleys that are on the right. So if you want to start by just um, gliding the, the print head along just to check that it's running smoothly. And then there are two small um, grub screws on each pulley and you just want to tighten them um, so they're fairly tight. Don't over tighten but um, yeah, make sure they're not loose as well. If you notice any shifting in layers um, when you start printing, uh, this would be the cause um, if one of these is loose. So um, just make sure that they're tight. And then there's the, the same on the front there. Right, so that's uh, everything unboxed. And as you can see, um, we're pretty much ready to start printing. Um, in the next video, we'll show you how to assemble your Builder Premium and get it up and running. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment and subscribe. Also, come follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. You can find out more about our products and services by visiting dream3d.co.uk.